Hey everybody, it's Bex from Reading and Writing Redhead and I am stopping by with a couple of tips for you on managing incomplete work. So I have a blog post, I will link it here in the description so you can take a look at that. But here are some uh, tips for you. First tip I used when I had desks for my second graders, I had seen it somewhere on the internet. I took big gallon Ziploc bags, taped them with the packing tape on the sides of the desk so they would be open, kids would just slide their incomplete work in there. Super easy to see what was going on and who had some work to finish and who didn't. One of my colleagues also did this, but with a really strong magnet. She just, they just stuck the papers right on the desk. But I found that the plastic bags kept the papers from getting ripped or damaged. Another way is a little tweak on my work bin system. So uh, some of you might know that I had a Work, finished work bin, a work that needs to be fixed bin, a work that has been fixed bin, and at some years I experimented with an incomplete work bin um, where all students would put their papers in there. Every once in a while you could put in alphabetical order or pass things back out, okay? Window boxes. A colleague uses this with her first graders. It's basically one of those mailbox systems. It's over by the window. Students just put their incomplete work in the window box and go back to get it later when they have time to finish it up. Another system that I love is Laura Candler's paper drop system. You can Google Laura Candler paper drop to see it's a freebie. I have a modification of it that I did here because my second graders, so her system has uh, used big manila envelopes and she has a cute little clip art graphic you put on it get this in checklist you can individualize for your own students. But my second graders had a hard time sticking the papers in the envelope without wrecking them. So I switched it up to some recycled folders. Students would just have to get their papers in here. Then they would check their name off. And upon a quick glance, you could see who's got their work finished, whose work is still in their desk or still in their cubby. So it was a pretty great system and worked well once I modified it a little bit for my kids. There's another great freebie on Teachers Pay Teachers called Ketchup and Pickles. And it's um, something you can project onto your smart board or Apple TV. It's from Pocketful of Primary. I will try to link it in the description below too. So I hope those tips for managing incomplete work help. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.